Welcome to this Combat Robot and BattleBot event recap for Robot Ruckus 2021 in July from Team Phantom Botics. This first fight was with my vertical spinner there on the right, known as Phantom Assault, against one of these wedge robots, which actually had an upgraded 1 inch inch thick aluminum wedge, which I was not sure exactly how well my blade would be able to get through some piece of metal that thick. As you can see, our wedges are at the exactly the same height, so neither of us could get traction under each other at first. As you can see, I get slightly under and is able to easily pop the kit over moving around as it seems to have lost one drive. I try to take over and take advantage of this. At this point, I do have him pinned on the wall where he could not move or drive, but because this is the first fight of the day and I don't necessarily want it to end like that, I keep on going, especially because it's the robot's first time and that's not a great way to lose your first fight. Ripping off one of the wheels and you can see that the actual entire shaft went with that wheel. So it's not the wheel sliding off the shaft, the entire shaft on the motor went sailing off that wheel. As the announcer said, with only 30 seconds left in this fight, I start gaining more and more momentum. As you can see, the actual frame of the other robots is getting chewed up quite seriously at this point. I'm actually only spinning my weapon at half power to get better bite on this. So if I was wondering what happened if I did spin at full power, but as you can see, it did its job and the top plate is completely ripped off and I take the win for this fight. The next fight is against a horizontal spinner with my vertical spinner one more time. And this should be a very interesting fight because they have a very large ant weight motor for the weapon on the front, which means it has extreme power on it. With extreme power, you need to make sure you have reliability, which I noticed that they had some reliability issues and tried to take over. Some solid hits there on that carbon fiber bottom, but seemed to be holding up pretty well. At this point, my weapon did not seem like it was functioning properly, so I decided to become a wedge bot. I did notice that the arena floor on this was extremely slick, as you can see all the wheels are turning white because it was rubbing off some, which is why it was having trouble pushing some of the robots around and why some robots also had trouble moving around. He gets back over and that weapon almost starts spinning again and I definitely have to be cautious not to lose this fight because his weapon is still functional and mine seems like it has jammed slightly. And at the perfect timing possible, he loses power completely as I am flipped over. Even though I can drive, it'd be much harder to dominate that fight. My horizontal spinner on the left side is now facing a wedge bot, which is quite fast, which I did not realize at first. Great driving by the other driver as he hits it into the wall, but this is not over yet. I turn off my weapon, expecting him to throw it into the wall as he did one more time, and I decide to turn it on once I get near the middle. I know I'm not going to be able to get un get through that titanium wedge from the opponent, and so right here I spin my weapon up to full speed knowing that I have a great point to hit him from the back end. As you can see, he lost one wheel drive and the other wheel is completely high sided so he cannot even drive it. That fight goes to my robot, Phantom Fire. Another one with my vertical spinner versus Vibe Check, a powerful horizontal spinner. Vibe check initially hits one of my wheels and after the fight I realized that I did not actually screw the gearbox in all the way so that the gear could not connect and that's why I lost one of the drive way at the beginning which did unfortunately affect this fight somewhat. 
But so far, both our weapons are full power, which is always good for a good fight. Live check goes flying around based on the impact of the hits. Five Jeff getting some more good hits in my frame, but my frame is completely holding up fine, and I'm not too concerned about the actual structural integrity of my robot. Five Jeff gets his weapon spinning up again and is trying to come in for the kill against my robot Phantom Assault. But as you can hear, the timer has only 15 seconds left, and so far the blade in the front has been holding up decently until this point where it decides to turn off. Five, four, three, two, one. By judge's decision, this fight went to vibe check, though unfortunately, I could not take that win. This is next with my horizontal spinner against another wedge bot, not the same one as before, a much, much different wedge. As you can see, it takes a much different approach of just trying to keep its wedge in the front. At this point, I'm trying to get around that wedge and catch one of the side angles so that I can get a good hit point and send him flying. But he does a good job of keeping the wedge in front. Slowly ripping off those rakes he has on the front as well. Makes some added bonus for the judges. Uh, as you can see, I was so close there to getting around to the side because I only need really one good hit to get him off his balance. And while most robots, when being flipped upside down, would not be able to function as well, I specifically designed my robot Phantom Fire to work perfectly either way. As you can see, my blade is perfectly level upside down and right side up. And actually, I think it might have been even better this way, as my blade is slightly lower to the ground, making it harder for his wedge to get under me. I'm getting around almost right there, almost had a good shot on it, grinding away at the floor. And bam, right here, I'll play this in slow motion, watch slowly as you can see his lipo flings out of the entire robot, and that is a knockout. My, my beetle weight in white right there, a drum spinner against a drop saw, which is quite fast indeed. I, I'm very impressed to how fast it can drive, and I frankly was not expecting that right off the bat. The fight continues as he lets me off the wall. I'm getting a few good catches on this robot, but his speed is really, really fast, which it makes it hard to drive against. Gyro I'm way out of this one as he brings it over to the pit. Unfortunately, he cannot get his motor spinning up for his drop saw, but he does manage to slide me into the pit. Great driving by that driver. Next, my vertical spinner against one of these undercutters. Initially sent it flying to the air as I self right with my own weapon once more. Even though it may be hard to see, my weapon is still spinning at half power right now, exactly how I want it, so I can get some nice catches on the other robots. As it seems like it's having some weapon issues initially, and drive, I'm taking advantage where I can. As it's lined up against the wall, its weapon spins up the full power, and as I'm not looking to take damage, I decide to let it hit the wall first before even trying to attempt to hit it. A nice pop into the air. As you might not think about it, every pop senses electronics on the inside jolting around, which usually can actually affect a lot of the way it performs if something unplugs or gets knocked loose like this. I give him a second to try to figure out what's the best way to hit, and I can see an opening from the back end and take it. Circling up the prey and going in, hopefully, for the kill shot. 30 seconds left in the fight, a nice pop from the back. That backside is just a great height to hit. 
This one does go to the judges, but I was able to take the win with my vertical spinner. This next one, a vertical spinner versus my horizontal spinner, Phantom Fire. Initially right off the bat, disabling one of those drive motors by knocking that shaft and ripping off one of the wheels. This will greatly affect the fight from here. That frame from the opponent is made out of 661.062 inch thick aluminum, which can hold up okay, but against such a powerful uh, spinner such as myself, it also has some limitations because it is aluminum. At this point, I'm trying to decide how I want to go, whether I want to try to go after that other wheel or just try to break the frame until it stops working. Even though it may be hard to see, as on that right side of the other robot in purple, you can see the frame starting to crack right there on that front wedge, which is exactly what I wanted. From all these hits of right exact, exact same spot, it is slowly weakening. I reverse the way I usually spin and get underneath the weapon. And right here, I actually slice off its complete weapon ESC, which disables their weapon instantly. And they go for a tap out, knowing without their weapon, there's not much they're going to be able to do. Another knockout. My beat away in right on the right. It's about to fight another fight as it goes in and initially rips off the front wedge of the opponent Achilles. This is Phantom Cyclone, by the way. My beat weight going in from the back and ripping up the sheet metal like it's aluminum foil. So while he is high sided again, I don't want to end this fight just like this, so I try to keep it going by hitting him. Right. right around this point, I check to see if the other opponent wants to keep going or just wants me to hit it again. And he says, keep on hitting it. So that's what I do, just to make sure that we're not destroying his robot where he'd really want it to end. So he says, keep going. As you can see, his wheels are actually turning. He's just high-sided. And there he goes back again. He can start driving. Weapon spins up, and the fight is back on. At this point, the battery is exposed as someone in the crowd yelled, which gives me an automatic win. If you're wondering how I build all these robots, I use SendCutSend.com, a great place to get CNC'd or laser cut parts out of plastic or metal. Highly recommend them, and they have free shipping, which is always an added bonus. Next, my horizontal spinner versus a titanium-lined wedge bot. Right off the bat, no problem getting a nice hit point off the corner of that wedge bot and disabling another wheel. As you can notice, I rip off another wheel and motor as he completely has one wheel drive for sure now and sending that wheel flying accidentally as I hit it again. That's right, the tape is holding down their wedge and makes it a great thing to try to hit and just knock them out if I can get that loose. As you notice, a lot of my opponents that I'm facing lose drive almost immediately. And if you're wondering what motors that I specifically use where I am able to keep up my drive in this horizontal spinner so nicely, you can check out a link in the pinned comments for which motors I use. Let me remind you that is titanium on the front of that other robot, which is why I'm not initially able to penetrate it. But as you can see, the side piece that's holding it on is just getting ground away. A good shot right there. There's not much I can do. Another direct hit to its wheel. As you can see, that wheel is getting more and more choppy on the opponent. As you can see, right by this point, the wedge is completely loose and just asking to be ripped off. I'm mainly going after the wheel at this point, seeing if I can just initially end it for sure. Though I could have gone for that top plate as well. As you can see, that is also loose. A direct hit to that wheel once more. This robot is barely surviving. It taps out, and that is another knockout for my horizontal spinner, Fanta Fire. This next fight is against a wedge bot and uh, with my drum spinner, Beetleweight. A very fast robot, and I did have some drive issues off the bat with my Beetleweight 
I think I did not have my trim adjusted right, which is why I am angling one direction whenever I drive forward. Drum stopped shortly as I realized I was not having it on full power. And I spin it up one more time and start grinding away at the top of this robot. It's hard to see right here, but I am hitting all those wheels and tasty electronics. But he does high side me on the wall. And while I can usually self right from that, I was stuck actually on the wall and could not fix that. Back with my vertical spinner versus the wedge spot, which I actually did see earlier. I pinned him against the wall initially, now knowing how fast he is. Our wedges are so low to the ground, neither of us could get under each other right at that front. As you can see, I am literally grinding away at him, get him flipped up upside down one more time, which I think that he will take into consideration next time. Knockout for me. This is a championship with my horizontal spinner versus vibe check, which we saw earlier against my vertical spinner. Right off the bat, some great hits on this. The vibe check seems to be a little bit unstable gyroscopically wise going around and grinding away at that TPU frame. At this point, you can see Vibetrek has lost his weapon, which is a great thing for me, and I cannot wait to show you how it happened after this video. At the end of this fight, I will show you exactly the damage that was on the opponent's robot. Some great hits going on. Vibecheck is still a pretty fast robot, though I'm more taking a slower approach, not trying to outrun him or anything, as my weapon is the one that's still working. Just spinning around and hitting, I decided it's my best strategy. More and more hits at this point. Vibecheck is just running into it. As you can see, his wheel starts to get a little bit off center on his left side making it harder for him to drive. He's still spinning around and just absolutely nailing his weapon, that which is no longer working right into mine, which is spinning completely fast. I will note throughout this tournament, I've been super pleased. My horizontal spinner weapon has not stopped spinning other than for a brief second to recalibrate completely. And at the end of this fight, it will go to judge's decision after hit after hit, my robot Phantom Fire takes first place in this tournament as an undefeated champion. And as you can see here, all the damage on the weapon motor of a vibe check is just completely destroyed. My beetleweight also did take third. My other antweight did get a knockout in a quite boring fight, which I didn't show. And my fairyweight took first. Thanks for watching from Team Phantombotics, and make sure to subscribe.